having this Mazda 3 and constantly modifying it, I'm always on the lookout for used car parts, either on Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace. So when I saw this car advertised for $700, I contacted the seller immediately and bought the car the following day. The first thing you'll notice is that the car doesn't really have a front end to it, nor an engine or transmission. So for the front end of the car, the Mazda Speed actually came with the front bumper and the rad support and the front end. So I do have those parts. They're just not installed on the car because the previous owner took them off to take out well the engine and transmission. But more on that later. So moving on to the interior of the car, as you might notice, the rad supports right here with the rad and the AC condenser. You might also notice there is no front seat. The previous owner had initially started to part out the car. So there is bits and pieces all around the car that are missing and the front seats are one. Finally, in the back of the car, uh, this is where the air tank for the air suspension is. Uh, you might have noticed that the car is squatting quite a bit uh, in the back. Uh, well, one, there's no engine, so there's no weight in the front end of the car, but also the back is still on airbags uh, with the airlift suspension. So the tank and compressor are here. So at this point, you might even be wondering why would someone spend that much money on a shell basically well one it's a mazda speed so it has the uh, turbo engine it's a lot faster than regular mazda 3 but also for a first gen it's a very clean body so the body itself on the first generation mazda speed or any mazda 3 it tends to run quite a bit around the rear quarter panel and around the bottom so this shell is in excellent condition there's no ruts whatsoever on the shell uh, there's a, just a few dings here and there. And on top of that, the mileage is only 155,000 kilometers. So for the year, which is a 2007, and the body condition, it's in excellent condition. All that's really missing is to put in uh, an engine, clean up the uh, interior. So it does sound like a lot of things but it's something we'll be able to get to. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by removing the airlift system out of the car, completely remove it. It's gonna be a lot easier to maneuver the car and to push it around just to have uh, everything on the car. So let's start by removing the suspension, clean up the interior. So one thing that didn't come with the Mazda Speed 3 when I got it is actually front seats since it's a popular upgrade for the Mazda 3. So I hunted down a set and got these. So all that's left is to put them in the car and pretty much the whole interior is going to be complete. So 
So now to the more interesting things. Fortunately for me, the previous owner was kind enough to give me the blown engine and the transmission that came with the car. The engine and transmission were already out of the car. So on the other hand, unfortunately, the engine is blown. So obviously there's a bit of work that needs to be done there. Uh, fortunately, again, very uh, big thanks to Nathan. He actually disassembled the engine for me, uh, told me what was wrong with it. So what he found when he took out the uh, took apart the engine, he found that like the previous owner did mention, uh, the engine was built. So I did have uh, manly rods and pistons. It also had ARP head studs. Plus there is a few things like uh, EGR delete and the counterweight delete too. So a few things that adds up that I will be able to be transferring over to whatever new engine I decide to go with. Unfortunately, three of the rods are not usable and then one of the piston is not usable as the piston rings got too hot. So it busted the piston upwards. So the previous owner did mention that his issue with the car was that the engine started knocking. He thought it might have been oil starvation. So also what Nathan found was that the crankshaft bearings were done too. Uh, they were all eaten up, which seems to be quite a common issue with the Mazda Speed engine. So now that we know what the issue is, uh, the block is still good, the head is still good. This engine could technically be rebuilt. So another thing that needs to be replaced is the dual mass flywheel and the clutch. The dual mass has quite a bit of play in it, plus the clutch itself would need uh, to be replaced. On top of that, there's quite a few parts that I need to acquire. For example, the uh, previous owner had started taking the engine apart, so the whole timing was off the engine. The valve cover didn't come with the engine. No turbo, no intake manifold. Uh, so basically from this on out, I basically need to figure out what I want to do. I could either rebuild this engine, uh, get a new crankshaft, get this block machined. I could buy a 2.5 block uh, from uh, either Mazda 3, Mazda 6, or even the cheapest option seems to be a Ford Fusion. Uh, so the 2.5 MZR engine seems to be a good uh, thing to go with and then put the Mazda Speed head on it. And then the most costly option would be to get a JDM import engine. Roughly uh, used, usually they go around 3000 to 3500 uh, Canadian. So basically that's where I stand with the Mazda Speed at this point. All right, so it's been a little while. I was actually able to purchase quite a few parts for the engine of the Mazda Speed. So I got an engine valve cover. I got an intake manifold and an exhaust manifold, the throttle body, a few sensors and a couple couplings. Now all those parts that I just mentioned, I do need them to complete the engine and to kind of move forward if I want to rebuild it. On the other hand, I do wish I did hold back a little bit to buy those parts, not because they're bad quality or they're broken, but because I got this. This is another first generation Mazda Speed and this is what I'll get the engine out of. So all the engine parts I was looking to get like the ECU, the turbo, the wiring harness and all those little things I'll be able to get them with this car right here. So that's it for this episode guys. If you have any question leave me a comment below and we'll see you guys in the next episode.